Assalamu alaikum guys. Today once again in the series of 200 technical terms for civil engineers in part 10, I am the front of you. As you know guys, 200 technical term series is very important especially for non-civil engineering people and also for civil engineering students which are working on construction site or if they are studying so this is very helpful. So guys today we will discuss part 10 if you didn't watch the other part so the link is in the description of this video and remember watch the video till the end then you're able to learn something new 200 technical term series part 10 let's start guys so i will get start from 91 term to 100 and next video i will discuss and i will get start from 11 part because we have 200 technical terms and each uh, in each part, we discuss just 10 terms, okay? So, in 91 term, we have on lapping zone. As you know, what is lapping zone? Guys, you can see, in beam especially. Like this. Suppose this is beam, okay? And this is one support. This is other support. So, guys, you can see, at top portion, this is lapping zone. And bottom portion, this is lapping zone. And also, this is lapping zone. And bottom, these two are lapping zone in beam. And top, the mid is lapping zone. So, on lapping zone, the stirrups should be placed closely. How? Like this. Right? Also, same like this. The stirrups should be placed closely. This is very important term. Next, in beam, top portion, you can see guys, this is the section for beam. This is bottom, for example, one, two, three, four numbers. At the top, for example, I'm using three numbers, for example. So this is top portion of beam, as you can see here, guys. This is top portion. So in top portion, Steel bars lapping should be provided after L by 3 distance. L by 3 distance. Suppose, guys, this is beam. And this is support. Okay. Also, you can see this is other support. So, guys, here this is the L. From here to here, you can see this is L, clear length of the beam. So when you want to provide lapping length, if we have less length or if we need to provide lapping length. So the lapping length and top portion should be provided with the distance of after L by 3 distance, after L by 3. So for example, if the beam length is 15 feet, for example, so L should be divided by 3, so it become 15 divided by 3, so we have 5 feet. So after 5 feet here, after 5 feet from this side and after 5 feet from this side, so this portion is a lapping zone. So here we should provide lapping length at the top, but at the bottom we can't provide because lapping length should not be provided at the mid. The mid is here. But mid at the bottom portion, we should not provide at the bottom portion, at the mid. But at the top portion, we can provide what? Lapping length should be provided after L by 3 distance. So one side L by 3 and other side L by 3, there we should provide lapping length if required. Okay, that is lapping zone. Very important guys, this is this point. In 93 term, we will discuss and top beam and beam. Tension steel bar lapping should be an L by 8 distance. This you can find in ACI, American Concrete Institute, and code 318-21. This is from ACI code. Remember. Okay. So, and beam tension steel bar. So, the tension is this one. These are tension members, are tension bars. So here guys, we will provide for tension. So the, the tension is at bottom steel bars, okay? So the lapping length should be provided with the distance of L by 
8 distance l by 8 also here and l by 8 so after l by 8 distance we are not able to provide lapping length here we are not able here we are we are also not able to provide lapping length but the lapping length should be provided at the distance of l by 8 so from here and also this side l by 4 uh, l by 8 okay and here you can provide l by 8 distance so guys from here to here you can provide this is lapping zone also each side for bottom bars okay for tension members but for upper portion this one lapping sh lapping should be provided after l by 3 distance so it be it can become like melt okay so in 94 term we will discuss to convert to wet concrete as you know to find the quantity of concrete so here there we have the wet volume so if you want to convert the wet volume to the dry volume or wet material to the dry volume so here to convert the wet concrete wet volume of concrete to the dry then volume should be multiplying with 1.5 value okay for example if we have one cubic meter concrete this is wet volume okay then you want to convert okay to the dry so in the dry volume okay so the one should be multiplied with 1.54 1.54 sorry not 1.5 right if the weight volume is 5 cubic meter or 5 uh, uh, CFT okay so that weight volume should be multiplied with 1.54 then you will get the dry material for uh, especially an estimation okay so in term number 95 guys we have normally we consider normally we consider 3 to 5 percent concrete 3 to 5 percent concrete is wastage while estimating of material quantity for example if we have if we required 10 cubic meter concrete if we required 10 cubic meter concrete then we will add 3 to 5 percent wastage okay so this is the uh, control of concrete on construction site otherwise when they uh, when they are using material uh, if that is beam or column or slab so as a wastage of material we calculate or we add three to five percent of wastage wastage material especially for concrete okay term number 96 lapping is not allowed for the bar having diameter more than 36 mm as you know lapping length one steel bar to another steel bar from factory we have the standard length of steel bar that is 12 meter so if we require to extend the length of steel bar so there we overlap one steel bar to another if the diameter of r f the bar having diameter more than 36 meter so lapping is not allowed okay term number 97 can tell you chairs minimum as you know uh, for the spacing especially in slab and also for raft foundation we are using their chair so chairs minimum of 12 millimeter diameter bar to be used minimum 12 diameter of bar to be used like this you can see this is the a kind of chair like this okay so minimum the chairs diameter should be 12 millimeter term number 98 can tell you main bar and slab as you know we have main bar and also distribution bar and rcc slab so main bar and slab shall not be less than 10 millimeter shall not be less than 10 millimeter our distribution bar should be thickness divided by 8 thickness divided by 8 then we can get the dia of distribution bar okay but the main bar diameter should not be less than 12 uh, 10 millimeter okay so another way I have al already discussed that we should use minimum at the bottom especially for plane the top beam we should use minimum 12 millimeter but this is RCC slab so in RCC slab we should use minimum main bar 10 mm okay term number 98 and 99 can tell you bearing capacity of soil okay this is very helpful guys bearing capacity of soil should be maximum compared to design load or structure load as you know guys the structure load are uh, the structure load okay 
for example if that is uh, for example uh, 200 kilonewton for example just i'm telling you per uh, per uh, square meter okay this is the design load or structure load and the bearing capacity of soil is 150 kilonewton per meter square so it means the structure load is maximum compared to bearing capacity so the structure will be fail so the bearing capacity of the soil the strength of the soil should be maximum compared to the structure load because when the structure load is coming to the ground level if the structure load is heavy compared to bearing capacity of soil so the bearing capacity of soil cannot support the structure load so what will happen on that time the structure will be failed if the bearing capacity of soil or the strength of soil is maximum compared to structure load or design load for building so the structure will be safe okay this is very useful remember this point and term number 100 in the series of 200 technical terms part 10 we have in 10 parts 100 term it can tell you minimum depth of foundation should be one meter if you don't have the structural design if you don't know anything and you want to construct your building domestic building especially so keep the depth of foundation one meter so it can help you and it can save your structure so if you keep minimum or less than one meter so maybe you will face the problem so guys these are uh, 10 technical terms in the series of 200 technical terms part 10 so wait for the next video that will be part 11 and 200 technical term series so if you have any question about this video so guys you can comment i will try to reply your answer thanks for watching see you in next video goodbye